I wrote to the organizers, Jonathan Barnett, and I said, how can BuzzFeed know about this and not me? And then Jonathan rang, he rang me, and we had a very heated uh, conversation. So I was absolutely shocked because this is the second time. And what amazes me is, how come this film, this is London, this is London Live, how come this film can be shown in Spain? and in America and receive awards, right? In the past year, it actually got two awards last month, and yet not be shown in London. Shall I tell you what my view is? I want to hear that in just a moment, but I want to hear just about the, the arrangement. What was his response? What was uh, Jonathan Barnett's response? Oh, he said he would not change. He would not change his opinion, and he said that he... I said, is it because you fear that you're going to lose funding? And he said something like that. You say the suggestion that it could have been to lose funding. Now, would you would you group yourself in the uh, people called AIDS denialists? No, I'm not a denialist at all. I think it's absolutely ridiculous to call uh, to call us denialists. Um, you know, I'm a journalist. I'm a medical journalist. I've been one for Thames Television, Channel Four, and my own company, Meditel. Um, I carry messages between the scientists that I work with, and I report on that. Do you understand that making a film like this could really upset people and could really hurt people? No, because it wouldn't. You see, the point is this, that uh, what's happened in London, this is why I want to make this point, what has happened in London is that many of the LGBT groups, AIDS charities and pressure groups have become enriched over the years, mainly by the pharmaceutical industry money, in support of a theory that actually is not proven, and that is that HIV causes AIDS. Anyone who criticizes that is often labeled, anyone who criticizes the possible risks of taking antiretroviral drugs is often labeled homophobic. Let me finish. Homophobic, we are not, I am not. What has happened is that the gay community is suppressing anything that could make the wider community question whether or not it isn't the gay community that is endangering its own people. I want to take a number of points here. I want to state first the non-proven bit. I mean, that's, that is a claim which has been refuted by a number of people, including Nobel laureates, who suggest that there is a proof and that really you're, the groups that you, the people who you represent, are really just attracting attention, <sighs> preying on vulnerable people who are unwell and looking for an alternative. And that effectively, groups like this, it comes down to a homophobic attack. That you're claiming it's somehow a gay community thing, rather than well, well it's well, it's well, only well, the gay community that is that is pr protesting. Well, I don't think that's true at all. Well, it happened at the London Independent I mean, Film I mean, Festival. No, no it doubt, was the same. No doubt, the gay they, there are members of the gay community who do, but you can't call them surely all that. Surely there are plenty of people who are well, support the gay community. There's plenty of scientists who are not. We have a lot of not, gay community people who support I, I, us. I know, but there's and plenty of scientists. Say, there are plenty of. I mean, the overwhelming, overwhelming majority. Well, that, well, I know that, that phrase. That, Listen, let every, me tell you, know, we, let me, let we have a Nobel laureate let who supports our side. So this is ding dong. Let me finish my question. Yes. Okay. The what I'm asking here is, I'm saying the overwhelming, which uh, you, you refute that thing, but pretty well, much, no, you know, the entire scientific community, which is, of course, supported by peer-to-peer -peer review, and, you know, a huge amount of work has gone into this, suggest this is the way, this is the status quo. You are refuting this, a small minority, yep. uh, who are quite loud, uh, certainly yep. online, attracting attention, are refuting this. Surely you can see that there is an argument which says that, really, by pr promoting films like this, you're endangering people's lives because the vast majority of scientific evidence suggests that taking antiretroviral drugs in lo lengthens people's lives. Well, can I come back on that? I mean, I made a film which won a British Medical Association award called AZT Cause for Concern for Channel 4. And it, it actually pointed to the fact that a whole generation of gay men in America, mainly, and here, died as a result of taking the very high doses of AZT. So you're telling was, that, me that, I'm that, endangering people's that, lives? That, that was, AZT was an earlier drug people took in the 80s and 90s. For years. That, but that, that was an attempt to kill it, surely. It wasn't, I don't think it was a deliberate thing to, to hurt people. Well, Is that what it's you're not suggesting? deliberate that, that anyone has come up with this completely misguided theory that AIDS, which is acquired immune syndrome, is caused by a virus.